Being a self-published author means that I have a lot of books at my house and I have to handle all of the shipping, all the orders, everything that happens online. And this is where I keep all my books in this old shop that one of these days I'll make look nice. But right now, it is what it is. So I have all these boxes here. These are all books. This is my bubble wrap that I cut and wrap the book around and that way it's safe when it gets to you after you order a book. And this is, this is a book. Yeah, there, there's about 38 books in each box. And these came all the way from Redding, California. And that's a, a question that I get a lot from people that are interested in self-publishing. They ask, how did you do it? And a lot of people have heard of um, CreateSpace or Ingram Sparks. And if, if you haven't heard of that, those are um, what they call print-on-demand companies. And there, there's a lot of those companies out there right now. Those are two of the big ones. CreateSpace is uh, owned by Amazon. And it's a really neat thing. I, I looked at using them, but I, but it wasn't it wasn't the best thing for me for what I wanted. But if you're interested in self publishing, I highly recommend checking out Create Space. One of the things that you get with Create Space is you get Amazon's might behind you. The the mighty machine that Amazon is, they. Um, it, they're, they're all behind you. So how it works is you use them, you go on their site, you upload everything, your your illustrations, your your book, and they'll it'll be in their system and it will be printed on demand. So if somebody wanted to go online and order my book, they order it through Amazon, Amazon gets the order, they print a book, box it up, ship it out done no inventory you don't need boxes bubble bubble wrap all that stuff you you won't need it they handle everything so why didn't i use create space i didn't use create space because they don't do hardcover books they only do soft cover and i really wanted a hardcover i have four kids read to all four of them and if there's one thing i know about kids and kids books is they will get ripped up. So especially a soft cover book. So that's why I wanted a hard cover. And I even lucked out because the company I use is called Printopia. They actually also provided me with a dust jacket, which I thought was really cool. So not only do I have a hard cover, I have a dust jacket, extra layer of protection. Now you might be interested in putting out a book and could care less if it's a hard cover or soft cover. Go ahead, use CreateSpace. I would probably do that also. It's CreateSpace is also probably really awesome if you don't have a kid's book, but if you like wrote a novel or a how-to book or something that doesn't have color, full color. It's really expensive to print a you know 38-page full color book. So there's just no way around that. If you're if you're putting out a kid's book, it's 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 expensive to print a kid's book. But Create Space has has a really probably one of the more affordable prices out there that I found. It seems like I'm plugging Create Space, but I'm really just kind of giving some information. I I didn't use them, so just I'm I'm saying that now. I did not use Create Space, but it's convenient. It's it's convenient. It, also, using them, you you can you can get your books sold on Amazon. I think they have some distribution channels that helps. Um, they, they help you get into like different stores, and also um, do an ebook version for you. So for me, I, I have to do all that on my own. Like for example, Barnes and Noble. I'm not in the Barnes and Noble system and there's a whole long process that I got to go through just to be in their system. So that I think that that would have been done for me if I went through create space. Oh, well. So if you're thinking about doing a kid's book and you don't care about doing a hardcover, 
check out CreateSpace. For me, I went a different route. I found a really cool printing company out in Redding, California called Printopia. They did an amazing job printing this book. An amazing job. They helped me through the process. You know, they cuz cuz when you get your book printed, you have to answer questions like what size paper do you want? Do you want gloss or matte or what things I never even thought of before in my entire life. So I asked them a lot of questions. They helped me out and I was super happy with my entire experience with them. I highly recommend them. So I'll put I'll put a link to their website uh, in the information section. But anyway, they're an option for you. But also, if you're just interested in putting out a soft cover, um, you don't really feel like handling all your shipping, all your orders. You don't want to have stuff like this lying around. Maybe go with the print-on-demand company. I don't know. If you have any questions, leave comments below. I'd be happy to help. I'm going to finish up because there's a wasp flying around and I don't want to get stung. So, I'll see you later. Look at the clues till it all makes sense. Left, right, up, down. So many answers to be found. Walk, run, jump, spin. A little help from all my friends.